Harvard says that you're 80% more likely to achieve your goals if you just write them down. And remember, fail to plan, plan to fail. The planning process is so, so, so important, you do. Get Genki. Get Genki. Yahoo, YouTube. I am super Genki. In today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips to help you keep your New Year's resolutions. Before we get into the video today, why don't you smash that like button. Likes really help me out and will help me keep my New Year's resolutions. With that being said, let's start with tip number one. Pick realistic goals. Everyone's always excited about the New Year. Like, yeah, 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 it's the New Year. Let's, let's do something with our lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna write a book. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But they're all ambiguous, right? And when goals are ambiguous, it's hard to see the path. It's hard to see the journey, the road that you need to take in order to achieve them. So let's use this, I wanna lose weight example, right? Many people say that they wanna lose weight for their New Year's resolution. How much weight do you wanna lose? Do you wanna lose a pound? Do you wanna lose five pounds? Do you wanna lose 100 pounds? If you don't specify this stuff, you can't realistically think and plan it out. Which is why I believe that in order to keep your New Year's resolutions, you have to choose small, realistic goals. They don't have to be small, but they have to be realistic. Remember that, remember that, YouTube. Let's get into tip number two. Go at one New Year's resolution at a time. You know, we have all this energy, we have all this motivation, we have all this inspiration to get our New Year's resolutions done. But you see, if we spread our motivation, our inspiration, and our energy among many different things, we're gonna be going 25% to each New Year's resolution. We're not gonna be going 100% to one New Year's resolution. And that decreases the chance. It decreases the chance of you actually accomplishing, changing that habit. Because remember, tip number three is, it's a process. These bad habits have taken years upon years upon years to form. So it's unrealistic to expect that we can get rid of them in months, days, weeks, or even years. I can tell you this, I just posted a chapter on Wattpad about five years of failure, five years of failing to change myself. And you know what, I'm like, I'm still here trying, but it's just so hard to do. So remember that it's a process and don't get disheartened when the process is not going your way. Because tip number four is be wary of the obstacles. If you don't want to encounter any obstacles in your life, then never change. But if you want to change, you're gonna encounter obstacles in your life. And when we encounter these obstacles, we tend to have this habit to just go back to our bad habits. But that's a no-no. If we go back to our bad habits, we risk endangering the good habits that we're forming. We risk putting them back to the start, losing all the progress we've made in trying to change ourselves. And I can tell you this, oversleep is my bad habit. Oversleep is my bad habit. I woke up today at five o'clock full of energy and I was ready to go, I was ready to do my stream, ready to start the day and I just chose to oversleep because that's the trend I've been following for like the past week. And it was hard, it was hard. But you know what? I think that I started this 366 day of purpose challenge, which is gonna be like a journal challenge. And it's not about having the perfect day, it's more about working towards your goals every single day and not letting the obstacles derail you from keeping focus. And then tip number five, keep a journal where you write your New Year's resolutions down. Harvard says that you're 80% more likely to achieve your goals if you just write them down. And the more you write your New Year's resolutions down, the more you're gonna see them from a bird's eye point of view the more perspective you're gonna get on what you actually wanna do. And then, when you start writing them down, you get to plan about how you're going to achieve them. And remember, fail to plan, plan to fail. The planning process is so, so, so important, you do. Because motivation, inspiration, and energy are scarce resources in the human body. I don't have unlimited amounts of them. I'm sure that you don't have unlimited amounts of them. And we need to have structures in place that are gonna help us get through the obstacles, get through the tough times when they come, because they are gonna come. Which leads me to my final tip, number six. Remember that you can do it. You gotta really believe that you can get your New Year's resolutions done, YouTube. You really gotta believe that you can be the one to change yourself. You gotta believe that you can be the one to do this, because if you can't believe that you can do it, you're probably not gonna do it. And get ganky. Get Genki, take that energy, take that motivation, take that inspiration and start working today. Don't wait until tomorrow to start your New Year's resolutions. 
the longer you wait, the less likely you are to actually make the decisions you need to make in order to do it. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really want to get to 100,000 before I'm 25. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. I have a lot of... I have a lot of subscribers to get in the next couple of months. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive sticking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.